The message in this new ad for Britain's Sky News Network seems ominously clear, with shadows falling over everything British, even the Queen. The cut line, he's back. Trump, the baby blimp, in diapers. <laughs> and as Britain braces, Trump, meanwhile, is talking about everything. In an interview with the Sunday Times, he gave this advice to Britain on Brexit talks. If you don't get the deal you want, the fair deal, uh, then you walk away. And he supported Brexit hardliner Nigel Farage, who's called Theresa May Britain's worst ever prime minister. I like Nigel a lot, and I think he's got a lot to offer. I think he's an asset to your country. Last week, Trump seemed to take on Meghan Markle, the American-born actress, now Duchess of Sussex. He spoke with the Sun tabloid Friday. She said she'd moved to Canada if you got elected. Turned out she moved to Britain. Well, that would be good. There are a lot of people moving here. So what can I say? No, I didn't know that she was nasty. For all of the above and more, many in Britain are aghast. London's mayor, Sadiq Khan, today likened Trump to a 20th century fascist who's flat out not worthy of red carpet treatment in Britain. Why do I say that? I think uh, uh, our closest ally is akin to a best friend. And the thing about a best friend is, of course, you stand shoulder to shoulder with them at times of adversity, but you've got to call them out when you think they're wrong. And there are so many things uh, about President uh, Donald Trump's policies that are the antithesis of our values in London, but also our values as a country. On his way to the UK tonight, Trump denied saying, as he put it, any bad comments about Meghan Markle. He also told reporters that he expects the trip will be very interesting. Few doubt that. Paul Hunter, CBC News, Washington.